Hey YouTube, so I'm on a roll with these video uploads. Um, I wouldn't get too used to it though, because as soon as things ramp up in my new chapter, the time to do these is going to be limited, I'm sure. Especially as I establish a new routine and become accustomed to new changes. So today I had my last day at my current job and it was good, you know, I was surprised at myself because I thought I would get emotional and sad in front of people and I will admit towards the very end it got close because the guy that I work with actually broke down almost and got really teary-eyed when I left and I don't know, he just kind of threw me for a loop because I didn't think, I mean I knew he cared that I was leaving but I didn't think he cared as much as he did until he actually showed me um, this side of him that I, I wasn't aware of and it really bothers, bothered him this past two weeks that I was leaving and he did tell me it went by too fast and I think it did too and he th said that his, the last day, my last day went fast and I think it did as well, um, you know, and even though it makes me sad and I almost lost it in front of him because he was losing it, you know, I have to remember that, you know, if they wanted this to be prevented, they would have done something about it before I even handed in my notice. Um, and the fact that they're waiting, it shouldn't take the fact that I'm leaving to invoke these kinds of emotions and change, you know. I'm sure he cares and probably always has, um, but it's like too little too late at this point, you know, and... um I kind of feel a little bit guilty because, and I know I shouldn't feel guilty, but um, I was given an exit interview um, the other day and it was a piece of paper and it was an evaluation of why I'm leaving and it gave me things to rate as to why and what can they do to improve and I was honest on it and, you know, I attributed a big factor as to why I'm leaving to my manager and, um, you know, I recorded a video not too long ago that I never uploaded on here, and um, it's like the video that is helping me remember my why, like I talked about in the video previously to this one. Um, in the video, I get very emotional, and I don't think to this point I'm going to upload it because it's old, and I end up blubbering, but it explains everything that's been going on to me at, during, you know, all the stuff that's been going on since I last uploaded, and... I recorded this back in January and um, in it I talk about, you know, the fact that I, in November of last year, I ended up sick with COVID and my parents ended up getting it and so did my grandparents and we came really close to losing my mom. My mom and grandma ended up in the hospital. Um, the good news is we're all okay now, including my mom and grandma. Um, they're out of the hospital, but that during that time I was being challenged personally and then professionally I got challenged even more and it all compiled and production got high and at, at where I work and they started to use and abuse salary and on top of that I was facing a lot of scrutiny with my manager on certain things and it all just became too much and I had been looking casually before then but it just ramped up in January, and that's how I ended up in the chapter that I'm getting ready to go on now. Um, you know, what, what frustrates me about my ability to cope with change is the fact that I go through a season in which I know I should be happy and feel happy, but I end up feeling the emotions that are the opposite of it. And I don't know how many of you guys out there can relate to that, but like, because I'm such a creature of habit... I um end up being the opposite of what I should be when I go through a change. Um, you know, as unhealthy as my environment is, uh, you know, I still built a habit in a in a in a home around it. And I know I've probably said that in a video before, but um it's true. You know, I I've built habits around this and honestly my my relationship with my coworkers have deepened and it is sad to be leaving them and I do feel sad right now um thankfully I've been able to keep it together and um I've managed to stay strong and not let that affect me um 
and I had my moment last night where I broke down and cried. Um, and it really got to me today, though, just to see my coworker get really quiet. And uh, I'm trying not to tear up, but he, he got really quiet and he stopped talking and he started getting really teary eyed. And it was really sad to um, say goodbye to him for some reason. And I don't know why. Um, I know it shouldn't be sad, but I am. And I don't know how many of you guys can relate to going through stuff like this, but, um, you know, I'm just hoping that I can be, um, successful where I'm going, um, and can do the work and learn it and not be a failure, you know, cause I worry about that because, you know, at the chapter that I just closed, I felt like a failure a lot, you know, I know that may not have been the intent of the people I worked with and communicated with, but the impression I was given a lot of the time was that I was failing. And that's what attributed to me leaving in the first place, you know? So anyway, I just thought I would get on here and um, give you guys an update on, you know, how my last day went. You know, I'm sorry to get emotional and lose it right there, but it just, my mind briefly went back to the image I saw, you know, before I left um, work, and, um, it just, it really was a lot, you know, to take in, and like I said, you know, if this was such a big deal, things would have been done to fix it long before now, and it wouldn't have taken me leaving, um, for them to see my worth, and it feels like I had to put my notice in for them to see it, and, um, anyway, going back to the story of the, um, me feeling bad, feeling guilty. Um, I was brutally honest on my exit interview and, um, you know, I, I attributed it to my manager and, um, the unfortunate thing about that is yesterday she bought me lunch and then today she gives me a gift that has a bunch of stuff in it for my new job. And I thanked her for it and I was grateful but at the same time, I remembered the paperwork I filled out the day before. And um, I'm trying not to feel guilty because I know that this company deserves honest feedback. And I can't sugarcoat the reason why I left. And I have to be honest. And these last two days cannot possibly make up for a whole year's worth of stuff that I have archived um, that concerns me, you know, as an employee. Um, and I'm trying to remember that and remind myself of my worth, you know. Um, so just to kind of make sure things stay smoothed over, even though they probably won't, because they will show this to her. Um, because there is, uh, I saw a bunch of boxes on the sheet for all the leadership to sign off on. So they will eventually show her what I wrote. And it makes me nervous. So what I did when I got home was I wrote her a thank you note for everything and wished her and everyone the best of luck. And God bless the security guard because what happened was I wrote the letter and then I was like, well, I don't want to come back when people can see me and then be all emotional or start rumors or something like that because that's the kind of maturity I worked with. Um, so what I did was... Um, I wrote the letter and then I went back to work briefly with the, with the security guard. I met the security guard at the door and he was sad that I was leaving to begin with. He saw me coming back and I asked him, could he please put this on her desk? And instead of saying he would do it, he opened the door and escorted me to her desk and let me put it on her desk, which was nice. Um, at least I know that I've got, you know, friends and people I can count on there that would still, you know, treat me with equality and respect, you know, and I, I appreciate that a lot. But anyway, I just thought I would get on here and update you guys on how my day went and where I'm at with my life emotionally. Um, I do find these videos very therapeutic. My goal is not to be viral. I don't really care if people don't wa like to watch these and don't like my videos or like my content. You don't have to watch them. That's the freedom of YouTube. Um, I just like to share my thoughts with people and 
doing these video diaries kind of helps me process things better and um, gives me perspective that I need and helps me to, you know, just decompress and process my changes and my chapters. And I'm just very grateful that I have the opportunity to do this, you know. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, those that do watch, and just be continuing to pray for me if you pray um, for a good chapter and a good start. I'm very nervous, but I'm excited at the same time. You know, I I don't exactly like change, and I don't like having to do what I just did. Um, part of me wishes I could have stayed longer and developed relationships more like I was, and... Um, all of that good stuff, but at the end of the day, I wasn't happy, and like I've mentioned to you guys in my last video, my narrative wasn't changing, and everything I listed in that last video was what I was going through, and mm -hmm. I have to ask myself, you know, is the money and the friendships worth going through all of those things, you know, and you have to ask yourself that too when you're in situations like this, and it's not just with jobs, it's with relationships too, you know, um, you have to ask yourself, is it is it worth all of that, you know? And at the end of the day, my answer was no. And that's why I left because, you know, my my the company I was with, they don't handle emergency situations very well either. Um, anytime we run into that, it's, t it's a time for people to get used and abused and pushed to their utter limits, you know? Um, I do understand that when your salary, that comes with the territory, However, I do think that there's limits to that and people like to push the envelope when it comes to that just for the sake of a company's needs. And sometimes you can't do that, you know? They forget that we're all human. You're running it by humans and humans need certain things. And if you're not meeting those needs, that's how things fall apart. But um, anyway, I may record more while I'm off. I'm off this week and then I start my new job the following week. Um, but anyway, it, it was very emotional at the, at the very end. Um, it was an overall good day, but it was very emotional towards the end. And I'm hoping to stay in touch with him. Um, I, I told him I'm not, I don't plan on being a stranger. Um, I plan on still remaining friends with him and communicating here and there. Um, but yeah, I, it was sad. It was sad to leave, leave to say the least. However, um, one positive thing to take from it is I didn't burn a bridge with them. So, you know, if something happened to me and I had to go back there for whatever reason, I don't plan on it, but it, you don't plan on life happening. I know that I could. It may not necessarily be to do the same thing because I don't, I don't exactly know for sure if they're going to replace me. Um, they might. I don't know. Because honestly, they're not going to tell me. They're not going to be honest with me, and especially when he's under uh, reporting to the same manager, he's not going to tell me because she's probably ordering him not to tell me. So, and that's okay. I don't need to know. You know, it's almost like ignorance is bliss in that situation. You just don't need to know. Um, and that's how I kind of am when I lose relationships, you know. I prefer to stick my head in the sand because if I don't, I end up torturing myself, and hurting my mental health, you know, digging out, digging and trying to find out, you know, what they've decided to do without me there. And honestly, it shouldn't matter to me. And I'm trying to make that not matter. Um, but anyway, I've got a week off. I, I am hoping to record something longer, maybe later this week or something, or especially before I start. Um, because like I said, when I officially start this chapter and I work on establishing a routine and everything, it's probably going to be a little bit before I actually have time to sit down and record something. I do know for a fact that this new opportunity is going to give me my weekends back, which is good. And another reason why I decided to accept it. Um, so that's, that's a plus, you know. And I, I am accepting a little bit less money, but at the same time it's not so less that I can't still live here and pay rent and pay bills. And that's all that matters to me at the end of the day. So um, sometimes it's worth it to take the lesser money. Um, may not seem like it at first, but 
but when you weigh the con the pros over the cons, it's worth it. Um, but anyway, I'll continue to keep you guys updated. I appreciate you watching. I'm sorry if this video was all over the place. I had a lot on my mind, and I'm just kind of trying to get it out. Um, and I'm sorry for getting emotional. It's just, uh, it, it was kind of an up and down day. And when I go through changes like this, it's like I go through a roller coaster because I go through sections of time where I'm accepting it and I feel okay and I feel strong. And then I go through other periods to where I'm really sad and down and questioning myself as to why I did what I did. But like I said, that video I recorded but never uploaded is my why. And I have to remember that. And, um, you know, no job is worth me feeling as sad as I did in that video. And I have to remember that. And you do too if you're in a situation like that that's toxic, whether it be a relationship or a work situation. Um, I'm just hoping that I'm successful at this new place. I can learn quickly and not be a failure and um, enjoy it. Like, I hope it's something that I end up enjoying. Um, but anyway, I think I'm going to sign off here. I'm really tired. I just thought I'd get on real quick and do an update for you. I know it's not very long. I'll probably do something longer later this week. Um, I know Monday I plan on going and visiting my cousin since I haven't seen her in a long time. Um, and then just figuring out the week from there, I guess. I know I might do something with my mom on Thursday. Um, and then uh, Sunday this week, this weekend, I'm going to go to an art exhibit with my boyfriend. So that'll be fun. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for praying if you pray. And just continue to pray and keep me in your thoughts as I start this new chapter. And um, I do appreciate the week that I have off because everywhere I research, they say when you come out of a toxic situation like that or you're changing jobs, it's always good to take a break so that you can grieve it and um it's much like ending a relationship you just have to process what had happened before you move on to the next thing so um anyway i'll continue to keep you guys posted um and thank you for watching if you do um subscribe and hit like and i will be with here with more content soon thanks hey guys um i'm about ready to go to bed but there was one more thought that I wanted to add to my video. It's probably not relevant, but I'm sure some of you guys can relate to this as well. But I feel like also what's going, what I'm going through right now is surreal. It's surreal to me because it's like, I feel like I've just left for the weekend and I'll be back there on Monday. And I know I shouldn't relish this like too much because it's easy for you to forget everything and forget your why and put on rose-colored glasses, you know, if you will. And I feel like that's what I'm doing right now and I'm trying not to. But as of right now, it feels like I just left for the weekend and I'll be back on Monday. And the reality is I won't. And, um, you know, and that's why I'm hoping the time with my cousin will lift my spirits up and not help me help me to not get so down about it. And, um, I do know in the long run that the decision I made is the right thing for me to do and try, um, and put under my tool belt as far as skills go, because it'll make me more marketable. If nothing else, it makes me more marketable. And anyway, I just kind of wanted to add that. I meant to say it, but I like totally spaced it in all of my thoughts, trying to get them out. Um, but anyway, I'm getting ready to go to bed and sign off. But um, just keep watching for more content. I'll try to record at least one more video before I start my job. Um, just kind of updating you guys on where I am and how my week's been going and all of that. Um, I do know that with this new opportunity, I'm going to have to spend more time getting ready in the morning and looking more put together because it's a different animal compared to what I'm used to and I have to look presentable and um practice good hygiene well I already practice good hygiene that's that's a given but I'm just saying I have to do more than what I've been doing at the job I have I just left so um that's going to be a new thing to get adjusted to as well um 
just because I built a habit around it over the past year. So, but I won't go back into that because we just already did. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing well and um, just stay tuned. Stay tuned for more and I will definitely give you more as soon as I have more. So um, thanks again for watching and I appreciate your support.